and what we do know so far is that 22 point beg your pardon 22217 bonds have been purchased from 2019 to 2024 SBI says 22,030 bonds redeemed in the same period. Also important to note here that uncashed bonds transfer to Prime Minister relief funds. So that's the significant input that we are picking up as far as this is concerned. Now what we do also know that uh, what is important to note here in the affidavit is that the amount of the electoral bonds which were not in cash by the political party within the validity national relief fund is what we're learning so far. But let's also tell you that the SBI states that the information was made available to the ECI in digital form that is whereas a total number of 22,217 bonds were purchased June and 15th of February 2024 in fact, uh, the State Bank of India has also told the Supreme Court that they've submitted the date of purchase, the denomination and the name of buyer were recorded. And in relation to the political parties, the date of encashment, the significant update that we are picking up as far as the electoral bonds case in the top court is concerned. Now, the SBI, of course, has filed the compliance affidavit and we're telling you the important points, the key takeaway, in fact, as far as... In fact, let me go to my colleague Harish to get us more perspective on that. Harish, significant development, what are the key takeaways that we should know as far as what um, the SBI has said in this affidavit? Yes, in fact, after the uh, Supreme Court uh, ultimatum, uh, we, we know that yesterday the uh, State Bank of India had furnished all the entire data related to the electoral bonds purchased so far, uh, the uh, denomination of the uh, purchases and the beneficiary political parties. All these have been given to the election PMD Dinesh Khara. This affidavit, in fact, says that a total number of 22,217 bonds were purchased during the period between 1-4-2019 and 15-2-2024. Total number of bonds purchased is 22,030. And what is an interesting point is that it, uh, the affidavit also says that the amount of the electoral bonds which were not encashed by the political party within the validity period of 15 days during this brief fund as per the Gazette notification number 20 dated 2-1-2018. Uh, in fact, uh, so in fact, one thing is clear that the, this uh, this affidavit says, according to this affidavit, uh, uh, in, in fact, India uh, on its website by 5 p.m. on uh, March 15, as per the Supreme Court uh, directions. So one thing is almost clear that uh, this will have purchase date of electoral bonds, purchases name, amount of bond, how much each party received is uh, in fact already in public domain. And what we will have, what we'll know is full list of those who purchased electoral bonds, date of purchase and amount, details of list Harish, of recipients. I have to interject but, you there, but uh, for the moment.